Hey guys, and welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to another episode of Super Smoothie Magic, a 10 part series helping you to make the best super smoothies possible. Cheers. Hi YouTube, Dan Byrne back again. This time we've got an unusual post-workout shake. We've got a cherry chocolate smasher. That's my new name for it, cherry chocolate smasher. Um, basically we've got whole dark red cherries. Um, here's some I prepared earlier. Took the uh, stems off and de-pitted them, if that's the terminology. Um, in here we've got sunflower seeds, walnuts, and again chopped up dark 95% um, dark chocolate. Um, we're going to be using almond milk as a nice base today and because it's a post-workout shake obviously there's got to be the protein in there so we're going to be putting a couple of scoops of whey protein just to give it a right good protein kick. So we're going to start again with the hardest thing that we've got this mixture of the dark chocolate walnuts and sunflower seeds. Going to bang that in there give it a right good stirring up So all washed up, stuck to the side. The uh, blender was a little bit damp today. It's all right, it'll come off. What we're gonna do now is get the cherries in there. Again, the stones have been removed. Don't want them in. I like to put the, uh, the almond milk in first before we add the, the protein powder. Don't know if there's any benefit to that. It just, I think it just helps stop clumping, but hey ho, do what you want. One, two scoops, 42 grams of protein, lid on. Got the cherries, got the protein, got the nuts, the walnuts, the seeds, the dark chocolate. Give it a right good blend up. There, my friends, we have it. Just grab the glass, it's looking good. The cherry chocolate protein smasher post-workout shake. Unusual post-workout post shake. Cherries, uh, there's been some studies on cherries where they're supposed to, <laughs> smells awesome, it smells unusually awesome. It smells really nice. Um, yeah, there's been some studies on cherries where they're supposed to help ease muscle soreness post-workout. Whether you want to believe it or not, I've never noticed the uh, the effects. To be honest, I've had a couple of these now, but take what you will from that. Look into it further if you want. Look at the colour of that. I'm gonna have a nice taste test. Well, oh, it tastes amazing. Definitely making that one again and again and again. Love it. Right, YouTube. Until next time. See you at the next smoothie recipe.